Hello, hello, this is just a quick guide to the hands off challenge from the Oryx encounter of the Master King's Fall raid. For this challenge, you cannot kill the same ogre or knight. There are also overload champions that spawn at each plate at the start of each phase. You can use this opportunity to get some easy finishes with Aeon to make heavy ammo for later if you need it. For the challenge itself, there are a few different strategies. Most teams will probably assign each person who is on a plate to killing an ogre and knight, and then rotate around the room for each phase. But the problem with this is if you have a lower level guardian, they could struggle killing their ogre or knight and sometimes people get torn in the middle of killing things and it can mess it up. So here is the super easy strat to avoid these issues. First step is don't jump on the plate after Oryx slams it. Just kill the ogres and the knights first. This makes sure no one gets torn and makes it easy to kill them all quickly. Secondly, both plate people on the same side, like L1 and R1, can help each other killing their ogres. You might think, well wait, how can they do that because then they've killed each other's sides. We tested this encounter at lower light levels like 1590 and just using a Taipan linear fusion rifle with a well divinity was still a comfortable two phase. So as long as you're around 1590 or higher I think most teams will be fine two phasing without even worrying about font of might or anything like that. This means that all you need to do is swap it's between the front and the back. If the two people on the front plates help each other kill their ogres it doesn't matter who gets the kill because they just both swap to the back for the second phase and will never kill the same ogre or knight. The two floaters shouldn't help kill the L2 and R2 ogres though. This is because they'll need to help kill the ones on final stand. But the floaters can help kill the L1 and R1 ogres and any of the knights in the room as well. So we split up the team so that there's three people in the front and three people in the back. Two people on the plates and one floater. And they all just kill anything. So when the second phase starts, you just swap sides and kill anything again. This makes everything die a lot faster and not need to worry about who's killed what or which floater can cover who, etc. It's really simple. Now there is one downside for not jumping on the plate straight away. It does make it very tight on timing for you to finish the running phase before Oryx starts wiping you. So what we did was we jumped on the plate when the last ogre was spawning. This means that most people have killed all their things and the person jumping on the plate can kill the last ogre and knight while standing on the plate anyway. Then you just start doing the running phase like normal. For damage on Oryx, in this video our team was around 1600 light but all we used was a Lunar Faction yes. Well, Divinity and the rest using Taipan Linear Fusion Rifles. No Fontamide or anything else. Just to show how easy it was to two-phase this boss, I mentioned earlier we did actually do a test at around 1590 to 1595 light as well, and while we did do a bit less damage, it was still a comfortable two-phase without needing to worry about extra buffs. So I don't think your team should worry too much about damage as long as you're above 1590 light level, and as long as you execute the mechanics and stay alive, it should be fine. After the first phase of damage ends, if you get bombs, I would suggest running around the plates and away from each other. There is a strat where killing the knights on the plates will end the bombs straight away but the problem is on master they're all overload champions and some might struggle killing them quickly enough. Also if you kill them slowly later you can get more Aeon finishes for ammo if you need it so I find it better to just run from the bombs and kill them later. Last thing to remember which is very important for final stand. I mentioned earlier that the two floaters can't kill the L2 or R2 ogres during the phases. This is because during final stand it's the floaters job to kill these two ogres. Having both floaters shoot them should take them down faster. We blow up one bomb at a time. I find it easier so you don't need to worry about someone else getting the other bomb at the same time. Anyway, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out so you can see the full second phase. Notice how all three players swapped between the front and the back for killing the ogres and knights. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button now. I post guides for all the hardest content in the game, even fun solo GMs. If you are looking for help to complete this challenge, I do this on my Twitch stream. Click the link in the description and go to my schedule so you can see when I'm next online. Until then, thanks. Bye.
you can get on now. Third guy? Uh, hard to see. Sorry. L1 first. R1 second. Make it off. Four. Having R2. Bombs in three, two, one, get in. Final stand. Me and Salad will kill them. I'll blow them up as well. 